Hi, my name is Nick. Um, I am the president of Team 971. I'm Adam, and I'm a software lead uh, for 971. When we first saw the game, we realized that we would need to have a really uh, powerful intake that could uh, intake from a wide angle, um, and it had to be really, really consistent. So what we did is we had the rollers that would, be, would bring the ball in, and then we had passive rollers that would center it. We went through, uh, I think, two prototypes. Types. The first was a large bulky intake which had two rollers on the top and passive rollers that were meant to replicate mechanism wheels on the sides. One of the issues first was a compression. Um, it wasn't reliable and another issue was uh, way too heavy to have it on the robot. It was too slow for us. Once we realized that our first design couldn't work, um, we looked at ways to lighten it and we said well why should we have passive rollers when we can have these active mechanism wheels? So if we just have those uh, rollers center it by themselves, we wouldn't need these large bulky passive wheels on the side. And the fun part of all of this is that we decided to change the intake. So at first we had the original intake, which was the one with the rollers. But we decided to change that um, about four or five days before stop build day. Now I remember like two hours before stop uh, build day, we were still trying to put the intake in the robots that we would be able to use it. Uh, Competition. The reason it gives us such an advantage is that it, we can intake from the entire front of our robot. A lot of teams have a small intake that just sucks in uh, the width of their ball. But we can intake the entire robot and it gets automatically centered. It's really quick for centering it. It allows us to just drive into a ball, suck it in, and then we can, we can go and shoot. And we can do it a lot faster than other teams, so it allows us to get the ball before them.